In today's video, we open a 2005 Vorse Raider 10. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today we are opening another classic tin. We've opened a few of these recently. Thanks to people getting them on the website, ruxit34.com and I've opened a couple of my own and this one is my own as well. So we have one of six exclusive cards. We've got the five boost packs. Of course you get the Vorce Raider. I said Voos Raider, that is not what you call it. We have a one dark beginning, booster pack one dark revelation one soul of the duelist rise of destiny and flaming eternity last time we opened one of these it was insane so i'm pretty excited to open this up but first we have a giveaway this is a pretty special giveaway this is a card that we pulled last time we were opening a 10 and we pulled something pretty crazy a ghost rare cyber dragon so we're going to be giving it away to one of you guys all you have to do is like this video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know what you think about 2005 10s you know the booster pack selection which is your favorite promo something like that let me know in the comments also keep in mind scam comments they are happening on youtube every single day in my comments and other people's comments do not respond to them do not send them any money for a giveaway because they're not the real me make sure you go click on the profile that's responding to you make sure that it brings you back to my home page that says videos and stuff like that that that's me and I'll have a check mark next to it. If it doesn't have that, if you click on it, if there's no videos, if they have two subscribers, that's not me. So just wanted to remind you guys about that. And before we get into it, we do have, oh look, I found the McDonald's pack I lost the other day. So there's the McDonald's pack. I lost this when I was gonna open it up. I think we opened one a couple weeks ago. I didn't know where I put it. It was actually under some of the other packs. We're not opening this by the way, but we will be opening some Power of the Duelist because remember when I said I pulled out a bunch of packs? We still haven't opened all of them. They're just sitting here and I'm like, okay, we gotta open these up. So a little bonus packs before we get into the tin, but these have insane pulls, like maybe even better than the tin in here, if we could actually pull them. I just want to pull the Chimera Tech over Dragon Ulti. That's honestly what I'm looking for. I take a Flare Neos or a Dark Neos, obviously, but that'd be pretty sick. Black Stego with a Fake Hero, Crop Circles. Let's pull something amazing. Destiny Hero Defender, the Rescue Roid, the Destiny Hero Fearmonger, Via Croy Connection Zone. We've got the Fossil Excavation, and... Alien Warrior. That is not one we're looking for. That is just a regular rare. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. Let's open one more. Well, maybe even more than one more, but at least one more. You know what I mean? Let's just let's just open a couple because I'm excited about these. I'm surprised we found that McDonald's pack. I thought I had like lost it and I was like, how do I lose a pack? And it was just in a stack of packs. That's how you lose it. It's also very skinny. So that's how. Miracle Jurassic Egg. We've got the Crop Circles. Fake Hero. All right. We've got the Alien Hunter. Paths of Destiny. Ambulance Rescue Roid. The Contact, Alien Gray, and Overload Fusion. All right, another rare. Okay, come on. Give us an ulti. Come on, Power of the Duelist. Let's go. Oh, wait, look. You guys' favorite pack goes from the past, too. We have one of these as well. Let's see what we can get inside. I'm pretty excited because it's a ghost rare. We're going to pull another Cyber Dragon. Watch this. Vision Hero. Nope. And Agent of Life, Neptune. Okay, I thought maybe we'd get it, but we didn't. All right, all right, all right. One or two more of these before we hop into the 10. Let's see. I just want to pull something. Oh, let's pull. Let's go until we pull a foil out of Power of the Duelist. How about that? Let's pull at least one foil. Common Soul. Destiny Hero Blade Master. We've got the Alien Hunter. We've got the Brainwashing Beam. We actually did pull an ulti last time. It was an uh, Aqua Dolphin, which is actually one of the best ultis out of here. Alien Gray, especially for the super rares. Synthetic Seraphim. Black Terra. Orbital Bombardment. And Submarine Roid. Honestly, I would kind of like this as an ulti. I don't know if if I've ever seen this as an ulti, because it definitely is in retail that you can get that as an ulti, but have I ever seen that before? I don't know, if you have a submarine roid ulti, go follow me on Instagram, send me a message, show me a picture of it, or on Twitter, that works as well, at Rexon34 on both of those. Okay, because I want to see a submarine roid ulti, and I don't think I ever have. Defender, we got the Destiny Mirage, we got the Bitlon, or Bitelon, the Decoy Roid, the Fossil Excavation, the Alien Gray, D-Spirit, and... Okay, it's the next one, and Dark City. All right, how many in a row is that? Is that four or five? Okay, not looking good here. We had great luck with the pre-packs before the tens in the last two ten openings. Insane. I think it was Cyber Dragon pull. We had the Genzo ten opening, and then the, was it Ravael ten, I think, that we pulled something amazing? Destiny Hero Blade Master. We got the Crop Circles. Ralph's the Starbird. Oh, Ruxin Special. Alien Skull. The Black Terra. We got the Synthetic Seraphim. Ambulance Rescue Roid. And by the way, yeah, and that Raphael one when we pulled the thing out of the uh, Shadow Spectre's Ghost Rare, I actually needed that one for my binder. Like, I didn't have it at all. I didn't even have, like, a light play, so that was pretty sick. All right, Alien Gray and... 
Viacroid Jumbo Drill. It's just a super rare, but it is a foil. I said we would go until we got a foil. Now we can open the Vorsch Raider 10. Okay. Not the best one, but it is something. It's time to open up the 2005 Vorsch Raider 10. This one's super nostalgic to me because I had two of these secret rare Vorsch Raiders in my deck back in the day. Because as you guys know, if you've been watching for a while, I was all about 1900 vanillas. So this was pretty sick for me. I didn't have Gemini Elves except for the IOC versions. Okay, we got a stretchy shrink wrap. So we got we to gotta cut this open. But yeah, I had IOC Gemini Elves. I didn't have like LON. So I was just, uh, you know, it took me a while to get to the 1900 beaters. People were probably doing it long before I was. But around me, it was still a pretty strong deck. So pretty cool. Let's see what we can get out of here, Vorsch Raider. All right, let's check this thing out. Please be gradable. I would love to grade a 10 of these one day. We have, okay. Actually, wait, didn't we grade a 10 of these, one of these recently? Maybe it was a nine, I can't remember. Oh no, there it is, boys. That thing is not a 10. All right, it's out of a 10, but it's not a 10, thanks to that one corner, but still a really nice looking card. I think it looks pretty sick as a seeker rear. Unfortunately, a little damaged. All right, the rest of the 10 we have Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Generation next. All right, then we got five packs. Very nice. It is time to get your game on. Game on, get your game on. All right, we're going to save these two for the end. Let's start with Rise of Destiny because we have opened quite a bit of this. I think all of these are unlimited. So this is unlimited Rise of Destiny. I actually do not see that very often, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we can pull something crazy out of here. I would love to pull something epic in an ultimate rare let's see decoichi uh i'm assuming these are retail even if they're unlimited sometimes unlimited makes it a little bit weird harvey lady three we've got the moki moki king fu rikazan we've got the eagle eye the mirage dragon raging flame sprite zing zen hu rock from the valley of haze and a machine duplication. This would also be a really, really nice one. Pretty nice rare. I mean, it's gotten reprints and stuff, but it's still one of the better cards to pull out of Rise of Destiny. Very nice. It could have a ultimate rare printing. All right, I think we're going to save Flaming Eternity just because I like it. I like Soul of the Duelist as well, though. We could get, like, a Horus level 4 ulti if it's a retail. I mean, that'd be pretty sick. An ult just an Ultra Horus level 8 would be pretty nice as well. Oh, we've got a sandwich right at the beginning. Sandwich. I'm getting hungry. Whoops, be careful with those cards. We've got the Graveyard in the Fourth Dimension. Ultimate Baseball Kit. The Abyssal Designator. Absolute End. The Sandwich. Unshaven Angler. He's getting a little hairy. He's got a beard. He's unshaven. Okay. Uh, we've got the Taunt. All right. All right. Red Eyes B Chick. Very nostalgic card for me. I just remember seeing this. I was like, ooh, cool. Summon Red Eyes. And... Horus level four, I called it. It's not an ulti, but it is Horus level four. We did call it. Okay, so we called it, but it was the wrong version of the card. That would have been pretty sick if that was an ultimate rare. That would have been like insane. Flaming Eternity, this is unlimited, but we could still pull the Sacred Phoenix Ultra. Or what? what's, uh, oh, oh, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Ultimate rare would be very beautiful. That would be pretty sick. Let's see if we can pull that. One, two, three, four. What shall we pull out of Flaming Eternity? We have the Kangaroo Champ. Threatening Roar. I always forget this card came out of here. Very good common. Pole Position, a pretty crazy one. The Poison Fangs. Majigai or Panda. Armed Samurai Benkai, another like broken card, so very interesting. Fulfillment of the Contract. Flame Ruler, and what will be in the final card? Let's go. It was a trap, but it was the wrong trap. Assault on GHQ. Okay, we are 0 for 3 on the 10. Not looking good so far. All right, it's time to throw in a bonus Power of the Duelist. Let's see. I mean, we, we got one super, but I'm, I'm itching for more out of here. I want to open another one of these. Let's see what we can get. Come on, give us an ulti. 3, 4, and then we can get something crazy out of Dark Beginning 1. Alien Hunter. We got the Brainwashing Beam. Black Stego. Fake Hero. Alien Gray. D Spirit. Flying Saucer, a Musicle, a Musicle, Elemental Hero Neos, done dirty as a regular common. And here we go. Another Aqua Dolphin, are you kidding me? That's so weird. Oh, and it has the same dot on the back and then a little bit of a something there. Yeah, a little bit of an indent. Literally like the same exact uh, dot right there in the middle. And then, unfortunately, that. So this won't be gradable, but this is a very beautiful card. Still, like, pretty close to near mint. A little bit of an indent, so maybe some people would not call that near mint. But when this card's, like, super minty and there's a small little indent... Okay, that's a little bit more than small, so maybe not. Maybe, like, VLP, but very beautiful ultimate rare. We pulled this two times in a row. That's kind of weird. I mean, but I'm still excited. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go to Dark Revelation 1. 
What is in here again? This is like MFC cards, but no Dark Magician Girl. There's Dark Crisis stuff. So we could get like Exodia Necros. I think Shinado is still in here. I can't remember. I think Breaker's in here as well. I don't know the, the pack tricks. So let's just go through this. We have an easier Mirage Knight. Wait, what? An easier Mirage Knight. What does that mean? Okay, when Dark Flare Knight is destroyed as a result of battle, you can search your deck for Mirage Knight and special summon it. Okay, interesting. Wing Sage Falcos. We've got the Nightmare Horse. That would give me nightmares as well. Very creepy. Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. Okay, search for those flip monsters. We've got the Gravekeeper's Curse. The Oppressed People. They are oppressed. They only have 400 attack, but they've got 2,000 defense. Not bad. Pandemonium Watchbear. The Different Dimension Gate. Wait, is that our is that our rare? It might be. Anti-Spell. I think that was our rare. Altar for Tribute. Ray of... Let's see. It was five from the back. Gravity Axe Quarrel. Okay, so nothing out of that one. We're over four. Come on. Okay, we'll throw in one more Power of the Duelist. Can we get back-to-back -back ultis? Now, Aqua Dolphin's actually a crazy good one, so I'm pretty happy about that. I just want to pull the big one. You know, the big time ulti. Two, three, four. Let's go. Mausoleum of the Emperor. We get the Decoy Roid. Bitlon. Bitelon, I should say. Destiny Mirage. We got the Vehicle Connection Zone. Destiny Hero. Fear Monger. Fear. We rescue Royd. Okay. What is that from? Lord of the Rings. Okay. Uh, Orbital Bombardment. And. Oh, I thought we might add something else. We did get another alien warrior. He's back. He's back for warriorness. Okay. We're going to end it with the Dark Beginning one. So. I mean, that Aqua Dolphin was pretty big, but outside of that, it's been pretty rough. Dark Beginning won a lot of cool stuff, like Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. I mean, just the classics. I think Red Eyes is a super rare in here. I mean, all the classics are in here with just different artwork. Let's see what we can get. I don't know what order these go in. I can't remember. Sometimes it's like at the beginning of the traps, magic. It's all this crazy stuff. Tip card, easy tribute, tribute summoning. We need to know this because everybody's tribute summoning these days. Sonic Bird, very nice for our uh, relinquished decks. Humanoid Worm Drake, actually rare on LON. Sangha of the Thunder as a common. Right Arm of the Forbidden One as a common. Very cool. Left Leg of the Forbidden One as a common. All right. Toon Summon Skull. No, is that a rare Toon Summon Skull? All right. Minor Goblin Official. Actually, pretty... Wait. It looks like that might be a foil back there. Wait a second. Gravity Bind. Wait. Shift. Is it going to be a magic card? No, it's an Upstart Goblin. Okay, it wasn't actually a rare Upstart. Pretty nice card, actually. But... No foils out of the 10. Sometimes that's just how it goes when you open these old school 10s, but I hope you guys at least enjoyed the opening. We did get the Force Raider, which was dinged, but still really cool. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tofu Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Dizzy, Hayden Jameson, Nightshade Gaming, and then a Tai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.